found in Turukuma village in Kenya's Laikipia County. Patrick Miner walks me through his four-acre farm. A green oasis in a county classified as predominantly semi-arid. Before I came here, I was an employee whereby I was working in flower farms and uh, most of my time I was doing the irrigation installation. So with there I could learn more techniques of doing farming, doing irrigation. In a region that faces water scarcity, miner needed to think how to alleviate the water challenge. So I decided, since I have a house, how much water can I get from my house? So I just started with a, a small tank of 2,300 liters, three of them. That was 15 years ago when miner made the decision to quit his job. Today, Miner harvests and stores over 4.4 million litres of surface runoff and rainwater in various water pans and underground facilities, including the basement of his houses, one which is under construction. So we harvest water from the loof, it goes to the gutters, from the gutters it goes to the down ticks, from the down ticks it goes to the main line, which directs that water to the main water pan. Then from the storage now, we lift it with the pump, which takes back to the filtration, it is filtered, and then from there it goes back to the farm through the drip system. Miner shares his skills with people who come from far and wide, including graduate students conducting research. He's converted a section of his farm into a demonstration center. Well, I'm in the initial stages of doing what I've seen here. But I, I wanted to do it light, so I thought instead of just doing it whichever way I think, I can come here and see where it has been uh, implemented in a very practical way. James Kimani is another beneficiary of miners' skills. An IT expert turned small-scale farmer, he has set up a conical, or what is sometimes referred to as a vertical garden, and a greenhouse, which is currently under renovation. Financial constraints have challenged him to think innovatively. So because I had the, the greenhouse, so I had to, to get some uh, plastic troughs that I, that I use for, to make vertical gardens. Then uh, I use those particular troughs to, as gutters to harvest water from the greenhouse. When in operation, Kimani harvests between 24,000 to 30,000 litres of water from just one section of the greenhouse. He hopes to eventually increase his storage capacity in order to fully maximise water harvesting from the greenhouse. Miner says developing a habit of harvesting rainwater will help reduce over-reliance on government-led solutions. To make people understand things, they first did assist a lot. And that's why me, I'm trying to become like an example to them. I do it, they see, and then they believe. A practice miner has developed over the years, even supplying groceries, fruits, fish and milk when a dry spell hits his community. For Patrick Miner, every roofing structure is a water harvesting opportunity. This, he says, is a climate smart move, especially in areas that receive low rainfall and which will help the country in becoming more food secure. Joy Kiruki Juma, CGTN, Laikipia County, Kenya.